Hey guys, this is Michelle coming to you with another video and this one is definitely a Caribbean favorite. It is saltfish and mashed green bananas. Guys, it is a simple, quick and easy recipe. So let's go. Soak the saltfish overnight or at least 10 hours in fresh water before cooking it. This will help to reduce the amount of salt. To prepare it, place it in a pot of fresh water enough to cover it and allow it to boil. Boil until it's edible. This may take about 20 to 25 minutes. Once it's done, remove it from the water and allow it to cool. Then remove the skin as this has on some tiny scales which are inedible. This can be done using a spoon or fork. Once done, strip it into smaller pieces with your fingers and set it aside. Place pan over medium heat and add about one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. When the oil is heated, I am going to add some chopped onions, peppers and scallions. Then I am going to grate in about three cloves of garlic. As I said guys before, grating garlic just adds much more flavor to the dish. The vegetables are going to saute for about two minutes and then I'm going to add in some tomato paste. I am using a spoon to combine all of the ingredients. Guys, the tomato paste not only helps to thicken the sauce, but it also gives it a richer flavor. Now I'm going to add in the strips of saltfish and blend everything together guys. Now I'm going to add some water to make the sauce. I am going to add the rest of the saltfish to the pot along with more water. Stirring occasionally to make sure that all the ingredients are well blended. I bet you guys never thought of having mashed green bananas and saltfish. Guys, this is one of our Caribbean favorite dishes as green bananas are rich in iron, so they are very healthy. Now the trick to the saltfish is that you have to ensure you have enough sauce to go with the mashed green bananas. That's why I have added so much water to the saltfish. I also added some cayenne pepper to the saltfish to give it a bit of heat. You don't need to add any salt because the saltfish is already salt. I will also add some paprika and onion powder. The paprika will have to give it the red color. Allow it to cook covered for about 20 to 25 minutes until the sauce thickens a bit. Then remove from heat and set aside. The next step in the process is to do the mashed green bananas. Guys, when you go to the produce store to buy your green bananas, make sure that they're not full because sometimes they can feel like they're green, but when you do open them, they are actually ripe. So be careful with that. Green bananas feel very firm to the touch. For this recipe, I'm going to use about eight green bananas because I'm cooking for a large group of people. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the skin from the bananas. I have already washed and cleaned my bananas. I am first going to remove both ends of the banana. 
Then I'm going to make a cut along the length of the banana from one end to the next. I'm going to do two of these and then use my fingers to pry away the skin from the banana as demonstrated in the video. Once the bananas are peeled, I am going to wash them again and then cut them into about four pieces each. On the stove, I already have a pot of water that has been brought to a boil. To that, I'm going to add some salt and the bananas. Then I am going to cover it partially and allow the bananas to cook until they are tender. Once the bananas have been cooked, remove them from the water and place them into a container. Now the fun begins guys. I am going to mash the bananas. All you need is a simple potato masher, milk and butter. And I'm using whole milk. I am simply taking the potato masher and smashing it on the bananas to break them apart. Then I'm adding milk and butter. And I'm going to do this until there are no lumps in the bananas. Just follow along guys. Now it's time to serve up this delicious meal. First on the plate is the mashed bananas. Then I'm going to add some tomatoes just to give it a pop of color and the sawfish. And guys, there it is. Here it is, mashed green bananas and sawfish. As I said before, this dish is simple, easy, and delicious why not give it a try and let me know how it turns out I hope you like this recipe remember from my cozy kitchen to yours enjoy please check out my other videos on this channel I upload videos every Friday thanks for viewing and thanks for your support